Today we're making sushi. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are making one of my favorite foods ever, which is sushi. It is so easy to make, and this is made specifically for me. You can tailor your sushi, you can add whatever you want to to it. I'm going to have, my vegetables will be, cucumber and carrot, and then I have smoked salmon, and also I have shrimp. But you'll see those come together really soon. But we are starting with the uh, seaweed, and it is, mine is perforated, and I have my sushi rice. Now if you want to learn how to make your own sushi rice, just click that eye in the sky. It'll take you to the day where I make sushi rice, and remember, this is my version of sushi. It is not professional. It's probably, there's a better way to do it, but this is how I found that it works really well for me. So what I'm going to first do is start off with our rice. I'm going to put a nice thin layer of rice. Now yes, if I were really good at making sushi, I would not need to do this with an offset spatula. I'm not. I'm not that great at making sushi. I just love sushi, and I found that this was the easier way to do it. All right, now luckily for me, my sushi, my nori is, uh, which is the seaweed paper, it is actually perforated so I know where to cut. Now with very clean hands, I'm going to add my carrot. These should be thinly julienned. And my cucumber, those are probably a little thick. And then my smoked salmon. Now the easy part, well, somewhat easy part. I'm going to roll this, and I'm doing this at a super weird angle. You probably don't want to do this at this angle. The goal is to get it into a nice, tight bundle. Then I'm going to place it on my cutting board, and in a perfect world, this will cut really nicely. You want to make sure that your knife is nice and sharp. After each cut, you do want to wipe your knife down. I'm going to give the unattractive one, the unattractive one, a taste. So yes, I love sushi. I will admit this, a lot of people are like, ooh, it's raw fish. It is just so good and so easy to make. And no, these don't have to be perfect. Just pop them in. It didn't take that much hassle. So easy to make, tailor them to whatever you make, and you can do a much better job than I did with rolling these because normally I take way more time, but I just had so much fun making these. If you make them, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I hope we get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.